Have you ever wondered if it's possible to turn a single dollar into a fortune? Yes, rock stars, I know it sounds too good to be true, but with a combination of smart strategies and a little bit of patience, transforming a humble dollar into a million US dollars is more achievable than you think. This won't happen overnight, however, but by understanding the magic of compounding, staying disciplined, and making some savvy financial decisions, you can follow a simple path to get this done. So in this video today, I'll show you the exact steps that I took and how you can apply the same principles to change your financial future. Rock stars, if you're ready for this, I want you to write 1 million in the comments, whether that's 1M or 1 with the six zeros in the comments so that you can start the manifestation process. Welcome back to the Rockstar Academy and thank you for always coming back. I'm grateful. Now, before we jump into the actionable steps that I'm about to share, you need to first grasp the crucial concept, which is the power of compounding. Now, simply put, compounding allows your money to generate additional monies or to generate earnings, which then produce even more earnings over time. I like to say something I've heard many years ago, which is it's interest on top of interest. It's the snowball effect in finance where even a small amount can grow exponentially as your returns compounds over the years. But let me give you an example because that may not have explained it at all. Investing a dollar at a 10% annual interest rate, which means the money you get from putting that $1 aside. After a year of 10% per annum, your dollar is gonna turn into a dollar and 10 cents. Year two is where compounding comes in because no longer do you have a dollar to invest, you now have a dollar and 10 cents to invest because the first year's interest is now added to your original dollar. And at a dollar and 10 cents invested at a 10% interest per annum, you now make a dollar and 21 cents. Year three, you're no longer investing a dollar you're up to a dollar and 21 cents and at 10 percent interest that's now a dollar and 33 cents so your interest that you're getting is going back and being added to your original amount of money that you invested and your new interest is on that new amount and that rock stars is the simplest way i believe i can explain compounding and i hope it clarified it for you now at first the gains are gonna seem slow but over time, especially if you invest it over a few decades, compounding becomes incredibly powerful. It's actually been referred to as the eighth wonder of the world, and I'm not exaggerating here. Now, to maximize its effect, it's very important to start investing as early as possible and keep reinvesting that interest that I mentioned earlier or the returns that you're getting. So we're not going to be pulling out money from our investment because we won't be able to leverage compounding in its full form. I started investing very early at age 19 when I worked a job that paid me close to minimum wage. And at age 19, I was already a mother. So it wasn't an option. I needed to put things in place. Now, I reinvested the vast majority of what I got in interest, which are referred to, as I said earlier, as your returns. And I realized pretty early Early, that the more time I give my investments, the larger my snowball of wealth will grow. So that said, let's get down to how we're going to transform your $1 into a million dollars in a few steps. Step one is to start early. It's okay to start very small, but you need to do so consistently. While compounding will accelerate your returns, you need to start and starting small is okay. And you also need to develop a saving 
and an investment mindset. I read a lot of books back in the day about money and wealth creation as a teenager, and this motivated me to develop this kind of mindset. I knew I wanted to be financially independent, especially considering that I was born into poverty. And I knew I had to change from that scarcity mindset that I had, where I was holding on to every dollar that I made because I was so fearful of being broke again. And I had to switch to a wealth mindset where I was willing to take some, I would say, relatively managed risks, knowing that taking risks is required to achieve financial independence or better yet, financial freedom. Today, Rockstars, you have a ton of YouTube videos and many documentaries out there that will teach you about finances, generational wealth, and financial freedom. So developing that mindset should be much easier and you don't have to read like I did back in the day. I also had a very strong why that helped me to develop that mindset. I wanted to retire by age 45. So I know I was going to go hard, but I wasn't going to go hard until I was 65, like most people do. So this pushed me to figure out how I was going to be able to financially retire at age 45. And here's how you can get started. Whether it's $10, $50, or $100 a month, what's going to matter is that you're consistent. I started way back in the day, like I said, when I was 19 years old, with about 20% of my pay, which back then I was getting a little bit over minimum wage, so it worked out to be about $30 per month. And that was a dollar per day when you take a 30 day month. And to put it into perspective, a dollar per day back then could actually cover my taxi fare to and from work. So it was decent money from my perspective. So it was a sacrifice, but I'm going to share it with you in a way where the sacrifice will be as minimal as is possible. Today, many of you watching could possibly start with $30 a day, not $30 a month month like I did, but I do recommend that you start with at least 10% per month of what your earnings are or the equivalent of one hour of pay per day. So as an example, if you're earning $15 per hour, then you can start with $15 a day. And if you can't afford to start with even $15 or even a dollar, hang on, because I'm going to show you later where you can get money from to get started. Now, what's required after you have gotten into the rhythm of investing on a regular basis is to make sure that you automate your investment portfolio. And to do this, you can automatically set up on a banking platform or a financial app that your monthly commitment is transferred and it's a fixed amount to your investment account every single month. By automating this process, you actually eliminate the temptation to spend money elsewhere because it goes there before you even realize the money landed in your account. Next, you'll need to invest in low cost index funds. Now, one of the best examples of this is the S&P 500 in the United States. But don't worry, if you're not in the US, I'm going to tell you how to find similar low cost index funds later in this video. Historically, funds like the S&P 500 and some of the others I'm going to share with you later on, or at least tell you where you can identify or find them, they pay annual returns of 7 to 10% in interest. By spreading your investment across entire markets, you actually reduce your risk while allowing your income to grow because you're not investing in one specific stock, one specific bond, one specific thing. You're spreading it with these index funds. Now, you can use this prompt in ChatGPT to get index funds where you live. I live in, and you're going to put your country name here, give me low cost index fund 
options that pay 7% to 10% in annual returns. And Rockstars, I'm showing you here on screen the results that I got when I used Jamaica as my country. And I asked for more options and I got more options. And I even asked where I could invest internationally as a Jamaican and I got some results as well. Now Rockstars, I must declare I'm not a financial advisor. I encourage you to talk to one. I'm just sharing my experiences here. When you contact a lot of these companies that you'll get from ChatGPT, you'll be able to speak to financial advisors free of cost. I was blessed with a friend that I went to college with who went into banking and later on investing. So I was able to leverage her to get the kind of knowledge that ChatGPT is going to give you today. I also had my son's paternal grandmother who had done very well for herself financially give me a lot of advice on investing in popular companies locally and overseas because she lived in both jurisdictions and I was working in multiple Multiple jurisdictions. Now we're on to step two and this is where you can boost your investment capital and we're gonna do so with side hustles. So you remember earlier when I said if you don't know where the money is gonna come from for you to invest this is one way to get it and I did this a lot back in the day. Now starting with just one dollar or even a small monthly contribution may seem slow rock stars but with side hustles you can actually create additional streams of income and increase the money that you're going to invest and this is going to speed up the compounding process. I share many side hustles on this particular channel that can make you $15 a day. Many. But here are some ideas in the event you didn't see any. One is freelancing and this is where you can monetize your skills on platforms like Fiverr or Upwork. And there are many skills that you can monetize there. Back then Rockstars, I didn't have Fiverr or Upwork, but I had a side hustle where I actually took photographs. My mother was a lab technician and she worked the night shift because she prepared the photos at hotels. So I would take photographs for people take it home my mother would clean the photographs or process them free give them back to me and I would sell them now this was long before digital cameras or even mobile phones so there was no way for someone on the average day to get a photograph back next day so I offered that service it created a new market for me and I did it a lot, especially in college and I invested a lot of that money. You can also resell products where you buy products cheap and sell them at a profit. You can do so these days on a platform like Facebook or TikTok because even small margins add up when you're investing it. Back then, however, Rockstars, I did not have any e-commerce platforms. So I would buy clothing at a lower cost and I would sell it to my co-workers, my friends. I would sell it from my vehicle when I got the company vehicle to drive. And I certainly made a killing from doing this. And eventually I opened a store and I took this to another level. But before I took it there, I was getting a few dollars extra and I invested all of it into my index funds or my bonds and I invested everything I was getting because to me my job took care of my expenses. This extra side hustle money was to create wealth for the future and enable me to retire at age 45 which for the record I actually retired at age 42 because this plan works pretty well when you're committed. Now, let's say you earn an extra $500 a month from your side hustle, which is actually only $17 a day, and you invest it in an index fund, especially a diversified index fund. Over 30 years, let's say you started like me at 19, which means by age 49, with a 7% return on your investment or 7% in interest, that $500 dollars per month is going to accumulate to 600,000 US dollars. Now when you compound that and combine it with your original investment, you're going to be well on your way to making a million US dollars. 
Now, the third step is to maximize returns with tax advantage accounts. One of the most effective ways to accelerate your wealth is by using tax advantage accounts. And for a lot of my investments, even here in Jamaica, I opt for those where I don't have to pay any taxes. These accounts actually shield your investment gains from government taxes. And this allows your money to grow faster because you're keeping all of it. Here are a few options that you can consider if you live in the US, which I know most of you watching actually reside in the US. 401k accounts. I recommend that you contribute to your employer sponsored retirement plan. Not only are your contributions tax deferred, but some employers will actually match your contributions essentially giving you free money to invest. The Roth IRA is another one that lets you contribute post-tax dollars and enjoy tax-free growth. Health savings accounts or HSAs, if you're eligible that is, an HSA will allow you to invest in a tax advantage account while using the funds for qualified medical expenses. After age 65, you can withdraw the funds for any purpose without penalties, not just for health purposes, making it a secondary retirement vehicle. And all you have to do, rock stars, for the country that you live in is just ask ChatGPT to give you tax advantage investment options or accounts for your country that you live in where you don't have to pay taxes when you invest. Now, step four is to reinvest everything and avoid lifestyle inflation. To truly capitalize on compounding, you must take every return or every interest payment that you get and reinvest it. Whether they come in the form of dividends, in the form of interest, or in the form of capital gains. Spending your earnings too soon is definitely gonna disrupt the compounding cycle and it's definitely gonna slow your growth to a million dollars. Rock stars resist the urge. This is where that investor mindset is gonna come in and that why, which is your reason for doing this. I recommend that you continue to live below your means, even though you see that money coming in as you're investing and any extra income that you get, let's say you get an increase in pay, don't go and move into a new apartment or a new house or buy a new car. Put it in your investment account because you'll be able to do that when you're ready. And I know some of you are gonna say, but I don't know how long I'm gonna live and I don't know if I'll be able to live to see that money. Well, you know what? I'm not asking you to live frugally. I'm asking you to live carefully because I can tell you that when you get older and you have wasted those early years and you no longer have the energy to go hard, you are gonna work until you're 65 and you're possibly gonna retire broke and have to keep working until you die. And I don't want that for any of you rock stars. So let's remove it from our path by doing the right thing. Now, step five is to be patient and think long-term. Building wealth through compounding, it's gonna take time. It's important that you stay committed even when the market fluctuates or when progress is slow. You need to avoid panic selling. The market is gonna go up, it's gonna go down. But selling during a downturn will lock in your losses. Stay on course and remember that markets recover historically. So the probability of things getting back to normal is significantly greater. Rock stars, remember, it's not about how much you start with. It's about how consistently you invest and how long you let compounding do its magic. With patience and persistence, your journey from a dollar to a million dollars can become your reality. Remember to write a million dollars in the comment to start the manifestation process. Until next time, walk good. Rockstar Academy, we change the game. Flip your work and stay the same. From dreams to reality.